Good evening to you. This is special. Rail history is made in Yorkshire with one of Doncaster's finest designs setting the pace. In a secret test early this morning, Tornado became the first steam engine to hit 100 miles an hour for half a century. So does that matter? You bet your bottom dollar it does. Let's take you back. The Flying Scotsman hit 100 in 1936. The Mullard then set the world record of 126 miles an hour two years later. But steam was banned in 1968 and diesel began to dominate. Well, since the ban was relaxed, heritage tours have become more and more popular and that's why last night's run was important, to test if steam could be safe at speed and run more on our main rail lines. Well, Tom Ingle was given exclusive access on board and joins us now from Tornado's home in Doncaster. Tom. Good evening, Harry. This is the depot of Electromotive at Roberts Road in Doncaster. Temporary home to Tornado while she simmers down after what frankly was a fantastic night out on the tiles. She certainly looks in a lot better condition than I do after pulling an all-nighter. Now, we've covered this story many times in the past. The engine was completed in 2008, built to show that steam still has a presence on Britain's mainline railway and built to push the envelope. And in a series of tests last night, that is precisely what she did. The calm and the storm. As sunset in Doncaster last night, Tornado and her crew prepared for an extraordinary adventure. It has been 50 years since steam was last pushed to the ton on the main line. Under a cover of secrecy and darkness, Tornado blazed a new trail. On board or off, it was a treat. It's kind of a, a thing in my family. Uh, we're all big steam train lovers, so I've kind of grown up with it since I was little. So uh, any chance to come see it, I hopped in the car and come here as fast as I could. It had taken months to plan the experimental run. What we want is to now assess the locomotive uh, dynamically at certain speeds. We've proven it's got the horsepower to run at 90 miles an hour, as we've seen, but we now want to be able to uh, go beyond that and just give ourselves that extra margin of uh, safety and performance. And that extra margin meant something very special. Tornado is usually limited to 75 miles an hour, like other steam engines on the main line. They want to be able to regularly run at 90, and as part of the test, they had official permission to reach the magic three figures. Come on! Come on! Trailing wind, anything? Anything! Everyone, everyone jump up in the air! Yes! yes! Oh. oh my God! Oh, the power that you need to do this is quite, quite astonishing really, I think. If there was any problem on the footplate, they would have backed off as soon as they'd done the ton. And they're just cruising in the high 90s. Yeah. It must be as smooth as silk. Smooth may be, but with the needle all the way over, anything but quiet. It took two men sharing the shovel to provide tons of coal to satisfy Tornado's voracious appetite. As they returned to York, the driver and fireman were cheered. It's quite rocky, so, you know, we're sort of swinging about a bit and trying to stand our ground, but it's uh, good fun. We've got everything from 99.9 uh, .9 and uh, who knows what to 101.6. And that's the problem with doing these things with so many different speed recording uh, pieces of equipment. In 68, they said the steam age was done. Last night proved legends are still being written. Wow. Tom, you were the only broadcast reporter invited on board. We're all very <laughs> envious that you were the chosen one. It looked absolutely <laughs> epic. What was it like? It was extraordinary on board because it was a dramatic story as it unfolded during the evening as well because the run southbound where they were going to push between 90 and 100 was between Newcastle and York and there were only three windows where there was enough sort of space in the track and room around all the other traffic to reach the magic ton and it took to the third attempt to do it so there was a lot of tension as everyone's watching those digital screens and their GPS devices and then of course that huge cheer when they reached 100. Well, we heard there that it, it reached 101.6. How significant is the speed test? Well, this is very important for the steam age because at the moment, locomotives like Tornado and others that run on the main line, they earn their bread and butter by doing rail tours, taking passengers from the capital or even from parts of Yorkshire around the national network for a day out. But 
The national network is getting faster all the time. It's getting busier all the time. Those timetable slots for those excursion trains, well, they're getting fewer and further between. So if steam can speed up, it's not necessarily about saving seconds per mile. It's about reaching key junctions sooner. It makes the whole rail tour business more economically viable. And in an economy that's increasingly dominated by tourism, that's really important. Oh, that's the biggest boost, isn't it, for tourism, the tourism industry and rail in particular. That's right. As I say, Tornado will be back in uh, proper service very soon. It will be running excursion trains. Some of those excursion trains come our way. Now, you can imagine uh, the downturn in places like York and further up the East Coast main line. In fact, actually, the people who ran Tornado said, I'm sorry, we can't get any slots to run because we just don't fit anymore. Well, last night went a long way to proving that Tornado definitely does a ha have a place and possibly that means other steam locomotives might be able to go faster uh, up to 90 miles an hour as well.